right, here he is, Ben Stiller. And donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Um, you know, it's just get out there and, and and vote and donate and like take advantage. This is such an important time right now, and this this with this wave of energy that's happening, we got, got to keep going with it. So please, do everything you can. Oh man, where do, where do you begin? <laughs> now he's funny. All right, we all know he's funny. And he's probably joking that he wishes he was black but he said it and, it, and the implications uh i mean he said it he's irish and jewish <laughs> hollywood actor ben stiller appeared in an interview with comics for kamala on monday when he made a bold remark <laughs> you know when are they just gonna shut up and entertain us when is it saying just shut up and sing? Just shut up and entertain us because he does alienate uh, uh, people. I mean, every time now when, you, when you're going to watch him in a new movie, you're going to be thinking he said this stupid stuff and he's and he's supporting Kamala Harris. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, this is too much. I mean, Tropical Thunder was really good. Dude playing a dude playing a dude. <laughs> it was it was a good movie. Um, I mean, he's excited that she could be the first black president. She ain't black. What is she? We don't even know what she is. I think we have we need some new rules. Anybody gonna run for presidency? Needs a DNA test, an ethnicity test, because they can pull up DNA and they can tell they can tell you what all your ancestral crap is in there. Let's get to the bottom of this, people. What is she? And the same for Obama. Well, we know he's half white. I mean, his mother was white and white, and his father was black as pitch. <laughs> oh man. They just need to shut up and entertain us. I mean, this is just going through what he said. She's a historic candidate. She's going to be the first one. She's Indian. She's black. She's everything. She can be more than one thing. It's incredible. She could be more than one thing. Oh, my God. So she could be Jewish? <laughs> Black, Hispanic, Native American, Indian from India, and she could be black. She could be all of it. And it is just incredible that she could be the chef's blend of all nationalities, which is exciting and incredibly spectacular. <laughs> I mean, this is the goofiest thing ever to say. It's incredible. You could. You can be more than one thing. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can be half half white, half Hispanic, half white, half black, all white, all black, all whatever, but gee, we don't know what she is. That's the problem. Every white Jewish guy wishes he was black. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just getting... <laughs> Oh man, that's too funny. It's just too funny. Just get out the vote. Just get out there. <laughs> I wish I was black. How many of y'all do, do literally 
white people wish they were black or do literally black people wish they were white? <sighs> Most of us, I, I think, to some extent, we're not happy about something about us. I mean, that's just probably natural. You know, oh, I, w I wish I had better hair or, you know, but to, to literally wish you were another race is, is incredibly incredible. <laughs> It's simply, it's just simply incredible. I mean, he says he's Jewish and Irish. Boy, isn't that a combination? <sighs> I wish I was black. Again, I think he was joking. He, he's he's, he's got to be joking. I mean, they're doing a thing for comics for uh, Kamala Harris. <clears throat> I mean, he's just wanting them to get out there. But, you know, when you say something, it sticks. It sticks. Now, he probably needs to come back out and say, yeah, well, I was just joking, but he's probably thinking it's a given. And, I, you know, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt of, the, of on that, you know. Now, they had posted, he had posted this on X. Look at this. He said, damn, what about intelligence? What about policy? Ben Stiller's a moron. <laughs> oh, man. He's getting hammered on X. I mean, it's true. It's it's all about identity politics. There's no, there's no substance. There's no meat on the bone for Kamala so far, and they've been keeping her out of uh, doing any kind of interviews because she's a gaff machine. She she just rambles on. The bus on the wheels go round and round because we all rode a yellow bus. <laughs> it's like, what? He said, damn. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's what about intelligence? <laughs> That's just... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All these clowns see identity politics. It's a shame. It's a shame that, uh, yeah, where is the intelligence? Why aren't you looking into policies? If you do like Kamala Harris, then say, what, what has she done lately? What have you done lately? I mean, what has she done? She hasn't done nothing. Nothing. She was supposed to take care of the border. We see the disaster in that. Just go get gas. Go to the grocery store. It's her, her and Biden's administration. She's a part of this. She's a part of this failure. If you are Jewish and supporting the Democrats in 2024, you need your head examined. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they've been the most anti-Israel Jewish probably administration in history. It's it's incredible. They still haven't done. I haven't heard anything done about those vandals that did all that to those uh monuments and stuff when they did those pro protests a couple weeks ago they didn't do nothing they didn't do nothing and that paint that's on there it'll be there forever but in that granite i mean it's going to be it's going to be there forever and they didn't do nothing about it so this administration is uh it, it <laughs> you need your head examined oh my god Trying to uh, skip these. Look at this. Look how much he's going to donate. Is that all? This guy. He's a multi-millionaire. All these movies he's made. And he's funny. And his movies were pretty good. 150 k Come on, guy. You can do better than that for, for your girl. For your girl, Harris. That's all you're going to give her? <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. 
Oh man. Look at look at Whoopi. Nick Overman, Peyton Oswalt also attend they all they were all on that live stream. Wow. I'm surprised Whoopi is even still relevant. I mean with the view. Come on, people. How are they even still on the air? They spew nothing but vile poison and rhetoric and identity politics, making people uh, want to be against each other. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's that guy. So she's drumming up support. It's amazing that she is drumming up support when prior to this, when when Biden was there, he's like, well, after the debate, well, Biden probably needs to go down. He, he's not even running the country. He, you know, no telling what's wrong with him. And then they were all saying, all oh, the liberal media was saying, well, uh, she's, uh, <laughs> she's, she's no good. We need somebody else. And then they flip on a dime when she when they just hand it to her. They hadn't even gone they haven't even gone through the process, which I think the Democrats should be pissed about it. Where there should have been a process of debates among other candidates who, who want to be president on the Democrat side. But no, they just slung her out there. Boom. I think it's wrong. There should be something done about it. I mean, despite her initial being less popular, yeah, she was less popular than him. And now she's got an uptick in person and uh, the president being a candidate, president candidate, strong uptick in popularity. I don't know how strong that popularity is because I know the media just hypes up stuff. And, you know, we don't always get the, f the full picture. Uh, we're just told stuff and spoon-fed stuff from PMS, NBC, ABC, all, all the three, the nat, nat, nagerators. <laughs> nagerators. <laughs> yeah, they're just telling us this. Uh, how much is her polls up? How much can we believe? On either side, rather, let's be fair. I mean, she has done nothing. Well, look, Obama did nothing, and he got elected. I don't know if y'all remember when he was first running, and I'm watching him stump, and I did watch his stump speeches. Remember when the whole famous scene, he's talking to Joe, Joe the plumber? I mean, I was like thinking when I saw that, and he was promoting socialism, I thought, surely this guy, no, this guy's not going to get elected. Look what he's saying. He's saying, give your money to the guy behind it, the, the guy that needs it. <clears throat> Joe the Plumber's like, well, I'm working my butt off. Even if I'm making 250000 I got bills to pay. I got a business to run. I got a family to support. And you're telling me to give a bunch of money to some deadbeat guy that's behind me? Are you kidding me? Bruh. We all know how that ended up. Obama gets elected. I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. Shocked, I tell you. <laughs> I, well, I mean, she's targeting the Gen Z and rebrand the media. I mean, I think Google is controlling the media. You go and try to Google uh, assassination of Donald Trump, there's nothing. I was looking at some news feed last night, just goofing and looking, you know, seeing what's going on. It was all her. It was all about her and her new vice president pick. I mean, where's the balance? If if we're on uh, any kind of search engine that deals with Google, it's completely biased. And everybody's seeing it. And it shouldn't be that way. I don't think it should be biased to Trump. I don't think it should be biased to her. It needs to be fair and balanced coverage. Or if you Google something, you should be able to pull anything up. And, and it, that's not the case. They're fixing to have this uh, 
this interview with her. Well, let's bring in now Fox News contributor, uh, political podcaster, contributor. Brad Palumbo. Brad, thank you very much for joining us. Look, this transformation is quite stunning, really, because Kamala Harris was considered a pretty much incompetent vice president, and suddenly she's the new Obama. Yeah, even a couple months ago before... She she, she said in the same breath, she's been pretty incompetent, but she's the new Obama. That's equate. Obama was incompetent. Man. She's just Obama. That's all. But worse. Worse than Obama. Look at our health care system. It's supposed to have been better. Charging people an arm and a leg. I mean, even if you went through the government and you make so much money, they're, they're charging you more than it was when you had your regular insurance. It's a disaster. I don't know why we're not bitching about it even more. Before this all went down and she became the nominee, the New York Times' writers, they ranked her as the least electable of the possible Biden replacements. But now, because the switch has been made, they all flipped on a dime. And you gotta give the mainstream media credit for one thing, it's message and discipline control. But look, they're gonna have to shelter her because she is a gaff machine. <laughs> she is cringe personified. So what they're gonna have to do is try to keep her away. She still has- Oh my God, could y'all imagine if she if, if she gets elected, it is going to be horrible. Her doing the State of the Union addresses, press conferences, think about it. It's going to be. Do you think the border's bad now? Do you think food prices are bad now? Do you think gas prices are bad now? They're wanting to go all electric. They're wanting our 18-wheelers who transport all our goods to go electric. Could you imagine the food prices when that happens? For Pete's sake, it's already costing a fortune. The cheapest generic loaf of bread is $2. I mean, and then now these truckers are going to have to reconfigure their trucks. The batteries weigh a tons tons of weight so they're going to have to they're going to carry less product it's going to take them longer to get to where they're going because they got to stop and charge up the stupid battery where's the power going to come from where's the energy going to come from to power all these cars billions of cars on the road in america it's insane and insanity and it's stupid we need to stop so if she gets elected and all this goes through it's going to change the face of America. Has not done an interview or a press conference since becoming the nominee, and it's been more than two weeks. They're going to have to try to hide her away until now on election day and hope that just their heavily filtered media coverage is all people will be exposed to or her edited TikTok. She needs to have an earpiece in where somebody's just telling her what to say the whole time. That's the only way she's going to be able to do it. Because she can't speak on her own because the bus on the wheels go round and round because we all love to ride a yellow bus. Talk videos, which I will admit are, are well done, but because if she's actually scrutinized for all her flip-flops, for the Biden administration's many failures and calamities, then I think Americans will really uh, lose a lot. The shine will come off. They'll really see what's there and, and they won't be so interested. But if they can successfully pull a Joe Biden in 2020 and just mm. campaign from the basement, it might just work out for them. But it is. And you know what's pathetic is that she knew the whole time, all of them knew that Joe Biden, something's wrong with him. Now, I'm not going to make fun of the man. If he does have some, you know, some kind of Alzheimer's or whatever problem, neurological problems is creating him to bumble in Joe, right? But he, he's always been this left wing uh, turd uh, for decades. I'm shocked he got elected, to be honest with you. How, did, how the hell did that happen? I mean, he, he, he hasn't done nothing. His policies are horrible. Obviously, look, look at what he's done as being a president. But Kamala, all those people in his administration, who the hell has been running the country the whole time? It's been her. Probably Obama behind the scenes. Somebody's pulling the strings and telling them what to do.
telling him what to do because he certainly doesn't know what what he's doing or what to do. It's it's insane. I need to get more out, hammer that home. She knew something was wrong with him the whole time. And he's still president right now as we speak. That we should all be frightened. Kind of a sham for the democratic process. Mm. Well, she is on show. She She's doing events, just not rigorous interviews um, or press conferences. But at least she is out of the... Because she don't know what to say. She's just a puppet, too. She's just a puppet. How the hell is she going to run the country? She don't even. She can't even do a press conference. Whether you like Trump or not, he can get up and talk without a script. He just, he just goes and says what he's going to say. And I think a lot of people respect that. He doesn't sound like the typical politician that just tells you what you want to hear. He's telling you what needs to be done the proverbial basement. But Brad, you know, this strategy is clearly working because the polls are showing that she's now catching up to Trump. But it is becoming a major news story that she hasn't done an interview in 15 days. So how long is she, is how Kamala Harris is and the Democratic long? Party actually going to be able to stick with this strategy of not sitting down with a serious, tough journalist? Well, unfortunately... That should be scary right there. Donald Trump is behind Kamala? What? Are we just screwed, guys? Are we just doomed? Are we are we literally doomed because the dumbing down of the schools for decades slowly dumbing down the education. Some kids can't even read. Indoctrinating them with this woke agenda crap socialism crap and they buy into it. it we should all be afraid we should all be afraid you know, people in right of center media, Fox News or the Wall Street Journal, they're not going to listen to us, right? It's going to have to come from the New York Times. It's going to have to come from the liberal media That's not establishment happen. actually sticking to their journalistic principles. That's not going to happen. They're all in bed with them. And it's, it's interesting. Nobody like, you know, what is the conspiracy theory? It's not a conspiracy theory anymore. We know... All those major publications that he's mentioning, whether it's a video outlet, news article outlets, it's all left-wing propaganda to support them and suppress everything else. What happened to in journalistic integrity uh, back in the day when, the, when they used to report the truth? rather than their rank partisan bias and calling her out and saying, listen, you're running for president of the United States. You've got to That's do not gonna actual happen. interviews, not just fan service, not just events with celebrities. You've got to sit down and be held to account because she has flip-flopped on everything under the sun just in the last few weeks, from healthcare policy to fracking to so many other things. Mm. She's done a complete... Do we even know what she stands for? We, we know... Pretty much guarantee what Trump stands for. Yeah, he wants to frack. He said, "Drill, baby, drill." We want to be, we want to be fuel independent. We don't want to buy from these other countries. Keep the money here. Get create jobs here. Close the border. Stop the wokeness crap. Bring down the costs. We know what Trump's platform is, and he's sticking to his guns. He's not altering from what he wants to do. What does she want to do? Keep status quo? That That's what it seems to me, because I don't see anything, any platform on what they're doing. Nothing, nothing that's definitive. 80 and not really explained any of it. Plus, there's so much she needs to answer for from this administration's <sighs> record, from the inflation and the policies they had that contributed it to it. Oh, it's Trump's fault. We inherited it from him. 
to the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan that left many U.S. service members dead unnecessarily that could have been avoided. So many things. But if they just want to try, what the campaign wants to do is just avoid all that and just do like cooking videos with celebrities between now and November. They will come down to the liberal media establishment. Are they going to actually stick up for journalism and demand that Kamala does some it's interviews? Not gonna she will listen mm. if they do. Are they just going to keep their Democratic partisan hats on and go along till now in November? Yeah. If she does, it'll be completely controlled. Now, I, I'm sure when when Trump does, they they have they go over the questions, right? They go over to approve some of the questioning. But they do ask him hard questions. They come out of left field and ask him hard questions, and he handles it well. But it will be a controlled environment if she does, and it'll probably be a left-wing organization, and, and they probably rehearse it and make sure she don't say something more stupid like she always does. Yeah. Just quickly before you go, uh, we've had the big news that there could be a recession in the United States. This at the, precisely the same time that Kamala Harris has claimed the economy is in top shape in the U.S. You've got about 30 seconds, but this is now going to be a big problem for her. Ahead of Everything's okay, people. This, uh, there's nothing to see here. Just keep moving. The economy's fine. Don't worry about it. Just keep moving. Nothing to see here, people. It's okay the election it has and it will be a problem because it has been a problem they keep bragging about bidenomics when americans cannot afford groceries so now if we do end up going into a recession their talking points on the economic <clears throat> agenda will only ring even more empty i mean that's my theory on it um here's comma let's go back to uh areas <laughs> um It doesn't take a rocket scientist and all these people, unless they, unless these young people that are going to be voting, these new voters still live with mom and dad down in the basement. They're not buying the groceries. People like us. If there's anybody out there still watching this video. <laughs> if you still made it this far who actually have a family and have to go buy groceries. I know our grocery bill has gone up like at least 40, 50%. Like I said, loaf of bread. I've got a 14-year-old that can eat a loaf of bread in two days. It's expensive. Everything has gone way up. It. This is what, this is what Trump needs to keep hammering home. Keep hammering home. But again, those people who, who, I mean, I would think most most people, again, just saying that are actually literally going out, having to get gas, having to go buy groceries, going to buy clothing, going to whatever it is, it, it's, caught, it's, it's gone sky high. I have to even budget even more than I did before. What am I going to make to make the food stretch, right? So you're going to be making a huge pot of spaghetti so y'all can eat it for two days. I mean, it's insane. I mean, you should budget anyway, obviously. But now it's like, oh, I've got to, I've got to come up with some more strategies on cooking and making the food last because that blame <clears throat> hamburger meat. Have y'all seen the price of uh, sausage? Good lord! I usually get the Tennessee Pride. Let me know what y'all get. It's six dollars for a little tube of, of sausage, six bucks. It's, it's, cr eggs? Eggs went back up, I don't know if y'all have noticed it, uh, but a carton of 18, it's like $5. That's with tax. I mean, remember when you could get a carton of 18 for a buck, it's at least two and a half, 250 was reasonable, okay. Now I know it shot up to like $8, and then, then it came, it came back down. Then it came back down, but now it's, because I went the other day to get them. Walmart's got the double packs of 18. I usually get that. It's $8. With tax, it's like nine bucks, right? For two cartons, so I get 36 eggs and I'm forking out eight bucks for 36 eggs. Because we go through eggs. 
got a kid in the house. They, they eat eggs. It's expensive. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, I appreciate it if you, if you made it this far. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Y'all have a good one now.